Okay, so let's make this a little bit more complicated and I wanna show you guys how a sub works. So I'm gonna go in here, quickly grab this function for you guys. Come back here, let me paste this. <clears throat> now, right now it's a function that we can easily change this into a sub. And why is that? Quickly take a look at this. Logic here. We can change it into a sub because it does not return anything. So I'm going to change that into a sub and change this into a sub and see that that's how easy it is. We still have the sub keyword, which is what we wanted. Remember sub, um, we have the name. Oh, guys, and don't mind this function underscore open application convention. It's from a very old time ago when the conventions in my company where I was developing this were not as standard as the rest of the programming community. So they have changed changed a little bit since then and I have changed a little bit but I still kept the function around because it works and it's great and no reason to modify it and I just left the name as is but this is not the convention that I follow or that you guys should follow at this point it should be func fn open application there should be no underscore but anyways just a quick little tangent just so that you guys don't freak out or anything so we still have the name and we have the parameters. Did you guys see the difference? This one didn't have parameters and this one does. And parameters inside of a sub or a function are separated by a comma and you can have as many as you need and it does not return anything. Also, the other thing that I want to mention is that this right here, the public or private, it's optional. You guys see that? How this sub does not have it? It's because it doesn't need it. If you want to create your sub as private, then you need to specify a word. Otherwise, by default, the sub is public. And most of the time, your things will be public. But if you decide to make it private, and you guys should know this already, we discussed what a private reserved word is. But anyways, I will tell you, the private reserved word will make the sub sub private so that other places cannot access it. It will only be accessible to the scope that it's in. So anyways, so this one is a public sub. Okay. And you guys see its structure and what it does, what does it do? Can you tell based on the name? Well, it opens an application just as the name implies. That is how awesome a good naming, naming convention can be. And if it was named function A, would that tell you anything? No, it would tell you absolutely nothing. And you would have to sit and look at the code to figure out what that function what that sub does. But in this case, you can just easily figure out by the name. Anyway, so it opens an application. Let's quickly run it so that I can show you what happens. I'm going to comment this and run this. Check it out, I push space and now it shows me that I have two options, two passing parameters. I need a browser and a URL. So let's pass in a browser and let's pass in a URL. And let me put a breakpoint here and let's go ahead and run it.